Hi, uh, my name is Josh Lieb, and I wrote this book. Little, no, I didn't write Little Archie. <laughs> I wrote this book, uh, Chapter Two is Missing, um, and I thought uh, I might read it to you, but it is too long. Uh, also, if I read it in like a movie like this, you can't see the pictures, and the pictures are great. They were written by, they were drawn by a guy named Kevin Cornell, who's drawn lots of great pictures for great books, so look for his books. Anyway, so I need you to read this book, Chapter Two is Missing, yourself. And if you like it, I want you to vote for it. And if you don't like it, I also want you to vote for it so that you don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> because I'm a very nice person. And the cameraman should stop giggling. Please. <laughs> Sometimes people ask me how I come up with the ideas for my books. And the best way I can say it is that um, a book is like a puzzle. Sometimes I'll think of something that's like a, a puzzle, like a puzzle question, and I'll try to figure out what would happen with that. So like, I might have a silly idea, like what if the ocean was made of chocolate ice cream? Or what if dogs are really smarter than people? And then I'll start thinking out how that would work and that figuring out that puzzle is the book. So like in a world where the ocean was made of chocolate ice cream, like sailors wouldn't use boats, they'd use sleds, right? And all the ice cream would taste very fishy because there would be fish and squids and stuff frozen in it, and then it probably wouldn't taste very good, so maybe people wouldn't eat ice cream for dessert. Anyhow, um, Wait, what? why can't it be Swedish fish? Or it could be Swedish fish, notes the cameraman. Yes, Swedish <laughs> fish could be frozen in the chocolate ice cream, and that might taste good. Um, now, the first story I ever remember writing was when I was about 10, I was about the camera person's age, uh, and I had an idea. I said, uh, what would the story of Little Red Riding Hood be like if it was from the wolf's point of view. And, and so I said, I thought, wow, I bet like Little Red Riding Hood really wouldn't be such a hero from that story, right? It's not the wolf's fault he's so hungry. And so I figured out that puzzle and how to make her the villain instead of the wolf. And I liked it, and that was the puzzle, and the puzzle was the story. So if you ever wanna write a book or a story, I recommend you think about it like it's a puzzle and, and sort of figuring out how all the parts would work together. Uh, and that's what I would do. Um, anyway, one day I was at home and I thought, what if there was a book where part of the book was missing and the reader had to find that part of the book in order to finish it? So I figured out that puzzle and I wrote it down and I ended up with this book right here. So I did my job. I wrote the book. Now you have to do your job and read the book. Now you probably think, I don't have to do my job. He'll never know. He is dumb. <laughs> Well, guess what? I will know if you do your job. Uh, because I need you to have, when you read the book, I need you to have your teacher or your parent or your librarian tweet to me at joshlieb9, and that will flash up on words here now, joshlieb and the number nine all together, and report that you read the book. And I also need you to tell me whether or not you found chapter two. And I need you to tell me whether you liked the book or not. Uh, I, it's okay, you can tell me if you didn't like it, because that way I can know what was wrong with it, and then I can make my next book better. So you're part of the whole process here. Um, that's, I promise you I'm gonna reply to every tweet, so you know, tweet your heart out. Um, that's kind of all I have to say, but let me show you how cool these pictures are, by the way. Kevin Cornell is a really brilliant artist. There are um, really only three characters in the book. There's the author, who is pretty dumb, and then there's um, Detective McGarrigan, who is the police officer looking for uh, the book. And she is also pretty dumb. And then there's Milo, the janitor of the book, who is really the only smart character in the whole book. He's also kind of the book's secret hero. Or maybe, is he the secret villain? You be the judge, you tell me. Um, so read the book. Uh, if you love it, let me know. If you hate it, also let me know. I'm very curious. Oh, look, here's, a, here's a, a random child just walked into the room about your age. Tell me, no, you can stay right there. <laughs> Tell me, random child, did, did, what did you think of chapter two is, is missing? It was all right. Oh, good, out of here, who asked you? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, you can hold it again, random cameraman. All right, um, anyway, uh, so don't listen to that person. It's a great book. Vote for the book, please, and uh, or, or vote for the best book you like, whatever. Anyhow, nice talking to you. Tweet to me. Goodbye.